Maybe you're a fan of Jim Root from Slipknot, but the Fenders and Squares are too expensive or already sold out. Fear not, I have a solution for you, the LTD TE200. The only thing that it's missing are the active pickups. <laughs> The guitar that I have with me today is part of the LTD TE series. In here there's cool stuff like the TE1000, the top dog, one with Evertune bridge, one entirely made out of core. The tiers go like this, first you have the entry level, the TE200. It has a bolt on neck construction and it's made out of affordable materials and hardware. Next up there's the 400 series which have set neck construction, upgraded materials and hardware. The highest grade of course being the 1000 series which always have the best materials, hardware, pickups, etc. Set neck construction, Fishman pickups, Macassar, Ebony fingerboard. The entry level TE200 series come in a couple of colors, the all new for 2022, black, the tobacco sunburst which I wanted to order but it was out of stock and the snow white which I will do today. To summarize what the TE series are, I will read a couple of sentences from the official listing. Back when ESP was founded in 1975, its original claim to fame was taking existing guitars, like the Telecaster, and making them better, with modified necks and components that increased their playability and sonic quality. What that means is that they took the traditional Telecaster shape and made some improvements. You got coil splittable humbucker pickups, a sleek modern looking design with a white gloss finish and all black hardware, a 25 and a half inch scale length with 24 extra jumbo frets. A shreddy 14 inch radius fingerboard sits on a thin U neck profile. All of this making for a Telecaster that I would appreciate. And that model designation, the TE, the TE200 sounds like a Terminator name. Is the TE200 gonna be able to defeat the mighty TE1000? We have to check that out in a video. Anyway, I mentioned Jim Root from Slipknot because this is what the T200 in Snow White reminds me of. The Jim Root signature Telecaster. I think LTD were sneaky with this one. They didn't make a Jim Root official signature, but it sure looks like one, especially with the active electronics in the T1000. Of course, it's not the absolute same like the Fender and the Squire. In fact, I think it's better than them. Here's the mandatory official listing of the TE200 in Snow White. I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds on screen with the official specs and then we're gonna check them out in person. It has a multi-piece mahogany body, a three-piece maple neck with a bolt-on construction, roasted Jatoba fingerboard, 24 extra jumbo frets, 25 and a half inch scale length, 14 inch radius a molded nut and LTD tuners, a set of ESP designed LH150 pickups. Measuring the pickups, the bridge LH150 is at 14.93, the neck is at 11.13, middle position 644. Now let's split this, bridge split is at 754. Neck split is at 571, middle position split 323. Blacked out controls as well, a three-way switch, black knurled metal knobs and the tone acts like a push-pull coil tap. But still a traditionally uncomfortable positioned three-way switch. A blacked out 
fixed LTD bridge that you can adjust the height of every individual saddle through Allen wrench and you adjust the intonation here in the back. It is a string through body design, meaning that you feed the strings through the back of the guitar. The top has a comfort cutaway for the forearm over here, a single ply black binding, gloss finish and blacked out hardware. The bolt on neck features black binding as well with white side dot in lace. Small dot in lace for the roasted Jatoba fingerboard as well, it's cool that they're offset near the low E strings. This is what the truss rod cavity looks like, adjusted by a 4mm Allen wrench, two-way adjustable. What puzzled me is the cover for the truss rod. I thought that it had some protective film on it, because you see it's satin and it doesn't go well with the theme of the guitar. You have a gloss headstock, you have a gloss pick guard and then you got a satin truss rod cover. A weird choice. A white TE series headstock. LTD block letters, beautiful logo, T200 model, come on tell me that this doesn't sound like a Terminator. And LTD tuners, black binding on the side of the headstock, beautiful. A couple of things that I don't like, a rough job, even though this is an affordable guitar, I think that the truss rod cavity is a design flaw, it is extremely narrow and I haven't adjusted the truss rod on this one and you can see that the edges are damaged probably from the factory setup. Here's the thing, when you're using an hour and wrench, an angled one to adjust it, it always catches on the corners. That's why ESP and Edwards uh, guitars have wider truss rod cavities, allowing you to freely rotate the Allen wrench without catching on the edges. So in my opinion, this is a design flaw. The nut is 42 millimeters wide or 1.65 inch. The 12th fret is at 52.2 millimeters or 2.05 inches. Thickness of the first fret 22 mm, but remember this has a volute, so if you move it to the second fret, thinner 20 mm or 0.78 inch, 22.8 mm at the 12th fret or 0.89 inch. The thickness of the body without the pick guard is 42.2 mm or 1.77 inch. Fingerboard radius is 350 mm or 14 inches. The neck profile is a well pronounced thin U as per the official specs. Here is the back of the TE200, even though there's no electronics because it's under the pick guard and in the separate electronics compartment, there's still a lot going on here, a lot of colorways. The edges are smoothed off around the entire guitar, you have a huge belly colorway here on the top and you have a little bit of high fret axis colorway near the bolt on neck construction. It is what LTD claims, a modern version of the Telecaster. Strings to body construction, don't lose these inserts when restringing because you will not be able to put any strings. The output jack has a black metal oval plate. Original black strap buttons here and here. The neck is held in place by 4 black screws and a black LTD branded metal plate. The neck is one of the biggest differences with the traditional Telecaster. This is one of the few times that I see a bolt on neck that has been finished in gloss. It is a 3 piece maple neck and actually pretty comfortable with a thin new neck profile and a volute near the headstock. I'm just a sucker for a volute, this is a pretty comfortable neck to me. Next up the headstock has some usual stuff like the design by ESP logo, the compliance regulation, this one was made in Indonesia and it's the first time I'm seeing an IS serial number. IS with an 8 digit number indicates that this is made in Indonesia but I'm not sure which factory it's made in. Usually it's in the World Musical Instrument factory but the serial number is not WI. If you guys know which factory number starts with IS let me know in the comments. The serial number starts with 21, it was made in 2021. Black LTD branded 6 in line tuners. This particular TE200, even though it's brand new, has been hanging on the wall for a couple of months and a lot of people had tried it. So I freshened it up with some oil and I'm gonna put some new strings. And these are the strings that the factory uses, 1046 Dadario in E standard. So I am gonna improve this LTD for whoever buys it by putting some new strings and doing a setup. As expected with most affordable series, the factory setup is not acceptable. I want to lower the strings and there are two ways you can do that, by the truss rod which seems to be adjusted well and the saddles on the bridge. The thing with these types of bridges is that you have to adjust every individual saddles and you do that by a 1.5mm Allen wrench. You cannot do this randomly, you have to maintain a radius, so I do a full rotation for each and every screw, tune, check the action and repeat the same process if needed. 
Unfortunately, this is the worst operating set of LTD tuners that I've ever tried, especially the E-string one. Upon second inspection, I've noticed a lot of imperfections in the binding, the way that the pick guard was cut. A lot of instrument marks along the edge of the fingerboard. I had to do a complete setup, including the height of the strings, the truss rod, the height of the pickups. I mean, I know the 200 series are the entry-level guitars, but LTD could have done a little bit better. I know these are made in large numbers every day by a subcontractor, but come on, QC could be better. 3480 grams or 7.67 pounds. Now let's hear what the TE200 sounds like. My honest opinion about the T200. I try to give you guys the truth even though I sell this in the shop that I work in. You gotta keep in mind that these are the affordable series even though they are not cheap anymore because of inflation. With the current rate of the dollar these go for around $460 in Europe. With that in mind there are some brands that can give you better quality for the money. But I think the LTD is cooler. And if you don't mind the bolt-on neck construction, it is a platform that can be greatly improved if you replace those god-awful LTD tuners, if you change the molded nut, swap out the electronics and put a set of good pickups in it, active, passive, whichever ones you like. The TE200, especially in Snow White, looks cool, plays great after you do a proper setup. 
and sounds decent with the LH150 pickups. If I am on a budget I definitely buy this, swap the tuners and put some active pickups in it. But hey, that's just me.